Minnie, well played. You had to work hard for it in the end, but uh, a deserved victory overall tonight, wasn't it? Yeah, we were all very proud of our performances. I think we had a bit of a spell where we did drop off and they took momentum. But I think, especially when we went, when they, when we conceded, I think we controlled the game very well after that. And yeah, we held out the win. But the scene started the game very strongly, didn't they? Were you all itching to get back into action again after a few weeks off? Yeah, hundred percent. We needed a few weeks off. I think we were a bit tired going into Christmas break, but yeah, I think we were all really excited and buzzing to get back out there. Perfect start with just 10 minutes on the clock. Chloe putting you in front. Lovely strike as well, wasn't it? Yeah, well, Hempo's been on fire in training. She's been on fire all the season and she got what she deserved. I think we've been working so hard and it's our time now to show what we can really do. Any slight little bit of disappointment that you were more than one up at the break? Yeah, and I think, to be honest, we could have got more out of the game than what we did. I don't think we should have conceded, but we'll look back at that and see where we went wrong. And, Obviously, no game's perfect. We have still got a lot of, to work on from that performance. And, yeah, we'll look back on it and put things right next time. We took a penalty for the second one, but beautifully slotted away by Lauren, wasn't it? Yeah, again, Hempo's been on fire. She's, <laughs> you'd put any, your money on your house on yeah. for Hempo to finish that. And, yeah, she's been on fire, so I was confident that she was always going to finish that. Well, as you said, after you conceded the goal, you never really looked like conceded another, did you? Sophie was always pretty well protected. And the back four played very well today as a whole. Yeah, well, we've been, f from past performances, we have gone 1-0 down before and then we've struggled to keep our composure and we've let a few more in. So I think we're learning from that and everyone can see that we're learning from that and we're improving every week and that's most important for us. We're a young squad and, yeah, we've just got to keep improving and keep going upwards. And two other players that played really well tonight were Danny Kirkdike at the back and Jana Daniels, again, looking stronger and stronger every game and looking a better, better signing, isn't she, with every game she plays? Yeah, them two have been brilliant for us. The great signings and I think they're only getting better and better each week. And yeah, and they've just got to keep pushing on, doing what they're doing and showing what they're doing in training because they've been excellent and yeah, it's good to have them out there. And we shouldn't forget, of course, this win's a little bit extra special for you, isn't it? Your old club, Everton. Yeah, we take every game, like, it's a, the same for every game, but it is obviously a bit more special when it is against your old club. You've got points to prove, but like I said before, it's it's still a game and you, you've you got to treat it like no other. And hopefully to get the, take that momentum into next week's game away to Birmingham City. It should be a good game there at Solihull, shouldn't it? Yeah, 100%. We've got to keep building on that now, take the momentum and try and get more points on the board. And of course, the win tonight of course, means you move up the table and the table will look better tonight. Yeah, we've, always, we've got seven points now and yeah, like I said before, we've just got to keep building and try and get as many points on the board. Well played tonight, Minnie. Congratulations on the win and thanks for coming and talking to us in the freezing cold weather. Go and get in the warm and thank, best of luck next week at Birmingham. Thank thanks much. a lot. Thank you.